Alright guys, welcome back to Into the Bumble, and uh, we have a couple things here actually. I'm going to just uh, do defending the tanks first, let's do that. Alright, so we got a chrysalid there and some other stuff. I think we have a lot of water though. So you can see that the difficulty scales according to what I've been doing this whole time, which is kind of cool. All right, so there's been there's some shit right now. Um, let's just pass the bonus. Okay, we may have to deal with him first. All right, I cannot deal with him like that, but I can kill this guy. But that would mean that we would be. Removing that guy. This is kind of a problem. Maybe I should shield. I can shield two of these things. I can't, okay, I, can, I don't think I can save the tank and these things, because I, I had to remove the thing that... Uh, I'm trying to think here. Let me just say, I probably... Could have maybe kept the tanks alive, but that next turn would be really hard. Because I have the shield bubble, right? Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try and save everything. Because I wasted this guy's turn on a non -ag aggressive thing. Alright, so this is how we're gonna do it. Shield projector on these two. Move on to that tile. And he can hit his own friend, at least. So that kind of works out a little bit better. At least I saved everything that time. I just had to think it through a bit better, instead of like, going to one action like that. Okay. Interesting. Well, how much damage do you do? A lot. So I'm thinking of moving this guy one tile this way, blocking that off. So we can do that. And he can just kind of sit on here. Uh, he can just kill that. And this friend of mine can just kill this guy. Alright. Ah, looks like the tanks are up now. So, can I just... No, it, it would require too much HP. Actually, it's 2 HP there. But he... No, that would also end, on, uh, end him on a really bad tile. But I can do this. Except... Uh... Fuck it. All right, that's fine. And we can just repair ourselves. Whatever, we'll just go like right here. What's his action now? Oh, because that's all I did with his action, I go. No, no, that, this guy I didn't do anything with. I'm just gonna move him like a little bit up here. We're just blocking everything. What? Oh, something came up in the fire there. Well then. I would have liked to just push him down, which we can actually do. And <laughs> nothing else will he do here. So just move out of the way, repair yourself. And uh, maybe burst this guy, teach him a lesson about something. We don't really need to do anything else here. Maybe could have killed him. But like I said, there's really no benefit to killing stuff, so it's like, whatever. Alright, defending the tanks succeeded. Alright, we'll take, uh, Elm Town. Defense satellite launches. Alright. Oh, god. 
Oh, it's a massive blob that will explode. Well, so I like to start these and just assume that we already lost. And there's a pod here too, on top of that. There's a lot of shit this early. Well, luckily... Okay, it's actually not that bad. This is kind of why I have the punching thing. Because I get to do things like that. Okay, that guy really likes that. I can push him into the water though. What's he attacking? Those two. If I do that, he's gonna go get punched back there. But I don't think we have a choice. Huh. That's the thing, is I don't know if I have enough turns to make that worthwhile. So I have to push this guy back. How much damage does this guy do? Five. Yeah, we gotta get rid of him. Which means he's probably gonna kill that. No, he didn't kill that. Unfortunately, he's just gonna... Oh, fuck, he's gonna hit one of the optionals too. I'm just gonna deal with it. I... I... It's too much, man. Because they, they start with like five, it's ridiculous. Warning, all right. I guess that rocket's launching? Yeah, this one's gonna launch. Guess we're gonna go knock this guy over here. Alright, that's pretty good. Uh, well, he just has a movement, which I don't mind him just doing this. Uh, wasn't this guy supposed to die to this? I planned that out slightly differently. Oh, the pod got destroyed! Huh. Of course. I had forgotten completely about that. Sometimes you win some, sometimes the pod gets destroyed. Alright. So if I kill this guy, I'm gonna get one HP back. Because of this bonus thing. What does it do? All damage is decreased by one. How far can this guy go? Not far enough. But I can shield things, luckily, so... Huh. I think we need to deal with this guy. So then I can kill this guy. With my laser. Yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. And we get we get it we get yeah, we get it back, good. Uh we're gonna go here, shield these two. And laser the fuck out of this guy. Action available, right. Let's uh, block one of these. I'm very sad that I didn't get the pod. So this guy literally cannot do anything because he's going to burn to death. What's his action here? Okay. So I'm just going to repair him then this turn. I mean, I can just block this way. It's like three damage. I mean, then again, he's he's poisoned as well, on top of that. Get onto the fire there. Alright. Not too bad. Three cheers for his Zenith Guard. Yeah, we did lose one, and we did lose the, the time pod. I'm very sad about that. I cry every time. Defend artillery support. Uh, oh, this is the artillery support, guys. Uh, this is also a new one that you guys haven't seen yet. I've seen this one, though. So, artillery support is actually not bad. It's actually very nice. 
Alright. So, he gets very limited movement, though. Uh, but he gets to shoot. And he gets to shoot with a lot of damage on top uh, to go with that as well. But he only gets to move, like, one tile. So, uh, we maybe could... We gotta deal with this guy somehow. Unfortunately, he decided to move right up there. What's this thing? Weapon damage reduced by one. Alright, so I can hit this. It's gonna, set, it's gonna set me on fire. So we gotta have to deal with this as well. This guy's not attacking. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We we punch this thing away, except it's gonna still hit me. Like we can't just, we have to actually destroy it. We can't just ignore it. Because it will hit something all the time. But I don't think we have much of a choice, because this guy can't really move that effectively. But then again, he's really not doing anything to begin with that would be useful. So maybe he will be the one to shoot it. He will be the one to shoot it. I've just decided this. So let's get rid of this thing first. I would kind of like to laser these. How much damage does that thing take? Alright. Oh, uh, did this guy not move? He did not move. Actually, it's fine. Because I was going to take it out anyways with the artillery. Thank you, artillery. Save my bacon. He takes a bit of fire damage, that's okay. I mean, I probably could have done it where he wasn't actually in the fire, but whatever. Alright, so that guy's getting hit. Alright, I would like to deal with that guy back there. So what we're going to do... is going to bring him back. So he's uh, has a bit of that shit on him. And we're going to railgun them both. Yeah, let's repair here. And as I said, this guy only moves like one tile at a time. So he kind of sucks. And that doesn't really do anything with that. Eat shit mountain. But he is pretty cool because it's like it's basically like this kind of like uh, kind of like early Earth technology. That's the, how they justify it. It's kind of neat. All right, so he wants to hit that. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with this guy though. Um. So I was thinking of moving this guy kind of over here, but what's the order of the turns? He goes first. So what we, uh huh. What I might have done, end up doing is I might push him forward, and then heal this thing. Uh. Actually, I'm just going to kill him then. Fuck it. Well, I might as well just take him out. I love that. Action available. Well, we can still block one. But only one. Fire damage again? What is it with that guy getting set on fire? Alright. All wonderful things. All right, so this guy has one shot. So it means I can laser him. Hmm. Whoa, 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 I did not mean to move him there. Okay, I just was trying to click this guy again. Probably the reason why I should use hotkeys. Oh, that's gonna fucking kill him. Actually, no, it will kill him. Because he's on fire. Does it count him as being in the... Okay, I did not expect that. Because he's he has to step inside there. It's telling me what's happening in order. Okay. 
I don't think I want to quite sacrifice this guy, so we might reset the turn. It quite didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Uh, question is how to deal with that guy. Okay, I know how to do this. Thing, the problem is he's if I do anything like that. Oh uh, well, he has to he has to finish him off. Like he, that's he's gonna get his health back. Okay, so that works fine. Um, I mean, all I really have to do is push him out of the way, and then do the same action here. Good job, Earth Technology. Yeah, celebration repair. Yeah, that's fine. Because he'll be fine for the one turn. Okay. So I slightly changed the order up. Uh, like, the order I had was, in theory, good. I just didn't know that the I would take more damage because I was in the, the goo. I thought I had to stop on the turn on the tile. Because I was ramming and then kind of... Eh, whatever, you guys get it. And battle with less than 4 mech damage and protect... Old Earth Bar. Oh, we gotta do that. Do the bar? Why is everything Old Earth? Whatever happened to New Earth? Alright. I'm gonna go somewhere like this. Alright, well, let's try and actually save the pod this time. Oh, thank goodness he just came up here. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. Alright. Yeah, this is, this is actually pretty simple. Okay, he's now, now no longer in the way. Uh, so we can either shield these two or potentially push him. I'd rather just shield these, honestly. And we have to kind of deal with this guy the old fashioned way. I feel like I could have maybe shielded it down here. It may have been a better play. Oh well. Look at that jerk. Alright. So there's a couple of actions here. Fortunately, I'm not sure how much I can do here. I was thinking of pushing this guy down here and then railgunning these both. Because I can actually do that. This is a, a clutch card I've been holding on to, but the thing is, I will not be able to do anything else after that. Okay, so if I take out these two guys, the threat is up here then. He's gonna hit both of those anyways. Alright, we're, we're gonna just accept our losses. So this thing's just gonna take three damage. Alright, we're gonna just accept the fact that there's gonna be a bit of collateral damage here. This may be a regret of mine. Yeah. I can actually undo both moves, that's pretty sweet. Here's the problem I have. I, I can't... Th I don't think I can hit kill both of them, but I would prefer to kill these guys, though. Well, I kinda can. I just have to... This actually sucks. Yeah, we're in trouble. I'm, I, I don't think there's a way for me to get them all. They just have way too much HP. I mean, that's three and then two. Because of the damage this does. Three and two. And they both have five HP. So that's what I was thinking, like, if I'm able to hit this thing, it would be nice. But I can't get two shots off there. Can't even, like, punch it. I think we're going to take a fair bit of losses here. Because they both get a hit off. But I really want to deal with that guy. So the thing is, I can hit this guy. This might be the best I can do, honestly. I don't think there's anything I can do here. 
It's gonna just take massive damage. Fucking hell. Alright, that is a lot of shit. Of damage. Alright, that was way worse than I anticipated. But sometimes that happens. Well, at least I can kill these guys. I just want to deal with this guy. Action available. Why? Oh, because I can still do something. Uh, I can't really do anything, actually. Well, whatever. Just uh, skip the turn, I guess. I hate the guys that plant things because you can't deal with them and the other stuff in the same turn, right? It's super annoying. Alright, well, luckily I can get that guy and then this guy. Um, question is, do I want to ram this guy? Uh, I may not have foreseen this, but actually I don't have any way of dealing with this thing. I just forgot that this... I always forget that this guy doesn't deal damage. How the fuck are you supposed to deal with this thing? Because it look at the position it's in, it's horrible. Um, because like I can't really do that because it's gonna hit the building. What the fuck? Uh, you know, I got an idea. It's weird that was the best way of dealing with it. <laughs> Don't worry, we protect the Bargas. Also, I failed some other objective there. I wonder what it was. I think it was take less damage, yeah. That one was a bit more difficult than I anticipated, but it's okay, we got the pod. So, we we won on the inside. Alright, we got two reactor parts. I think we could use either more burst beam or... Uh, we Maybe more damage on this guy as well. I think this is the easiest one to get damage on, though. Because um, I have two right now, right? So I just go install, install. There you go. So if I get up to him, he's uh, he's going to be toast. So let's, uh, let's hope I can get up to him. All right. Uh, stab three tiles in a row. All right. The Vecker is certainly going to be sorry now. All right. So I have a couple options here. I can potentially shoot these two, and I just kind of knock him over here. Cause I, I okay. Let me just put you this way. I am gonna knock him over there. Uh, okay. Let's start with hitting this guy then. So the question is, do we want to just laser these assholes? Looks like it's easier said than done. Because even though I have a lot of damage, I don't have a lot of... I don't have all the mobility in the world to get over there. So here's the thing, I can move him this way. How much damage does he take? Okay, he will die in one hit. Which is nice. But I have to take out these guys. So we take a little bit of damage. Oops. Uh, go back there. Holy shit. Alright. I keep forgetting he hits two buildings and then does a lot of damage. And he killed the fucking building too. God damn. Alright. Yeah, terrible. What can I say? Undo that. Fuck. No, undo that. This guy goes... Hits that. Alright. This definitely could have gone a little bit better. I always, I always forget that the thing is like, a lot of this game is based around like remembering what certain interactions are and like just kind of thinking really hard about like the result of of your actions, right?
Alright, I'm thinking about doing with this thing. Sometimes I don't always remember, like, oh, they do a shit ton of damage to a bunch of buildings. Because I, I saw he was attacking two tiles, but for some reason I'm just automatically assuming it's one damage, and it's going to clearly not be one damage. Alright, so we gotta shoot this guy. What's this guy gonna do? I'll be honest, I, I, think I'm, I don't think I'm a huge fan of the these guys and what they're they're able to do I uh, don't think I want to do that actually I would like to kill that thing so fuck that thing all right let's go fucking it's a bonus move but that's fine it's it's a really cool complicated game I mean it took me a lot to get into like FTL and and like going like okay this guy needs to go on shields this guy needs to go on fucking weapons and stuff like that and I can see a lot of that here as well which is interesting so yeah uh, not flawless this one I may just spend all my money on the upgrading of uh, the reactor core because look at that fire I'm just gonna look at what these do enemies do plus one damage versus each other okay all pilots survive death <laughs> all right that's the one for self destruct. Fire beam that frees everything in line. That is extremely good. That's way better than the shield projector, at least for the final fight. Alright, we need two things for that. Alright, spend reputation. We can get rid of this. Actually, do I want to get rid of him? Will he show up by the end? Mech can move through enemy units. Uh, th I think I already had him. Actually, I, all I want to do is buy this stuff anyways. I maybe should keep him, because if I keep him by the end, I think maybe I unlock him. Yeah, I don't know. Not like I was going to get anything else here. Alright, all the, all the railguns. Having an extra use of the frostbeam would have been nice, too. But we can't do that. What's sad is it's even less of a uh, amount of uh, like weapon damage that that thing does. It does like nothing. All right. So we have the Wonder Beam now. This will determine if this timeline has a future. So our, do, do, when do we get into parallel universes? All right, that guy's dead. All right. that. Do I really want to block this many? I guess so. Cause I don't know if more are gonna spawn. Cause that might be absolutely ridiculous. Okay, he just went into a place where he's gonna die. Okay, it is going to spawn me even more than this. Uh, yeah. Uh, huh. I just railgun that thing. He's already dead on the inside. Uh, probably for the future, I'm not going to block everything from spawning because it doesn't prevent them from spawning even more. Holy shit. Alright. Alright. We have maybe reached some we lost territory. We have a lot of damage. Wait, they're going to just hit each other. See ya, suckers. Uh, what's this guy doing? Do hit that guy? How much damage do they do to each other? That's pretty. That's not bad. 
It means I can't block one of the other ones, though. Still pretty good, though. Alright. Uh... I mean, this guy gets to do stuff, still. But there's nothing he, I want to do with him, so... I wish I could use my repair on someone else, but I can't. You can only repair yourself. I'm sure that's like a talent later that someone maybe gets, like an engineer or something. It's gonna be my guess. But... Can't really do much about that. Ah, uh, they're mad at each other. Holy shit, the hatred. Well, I have a lot of abilities here, but I'm thinking I should break this so he can get through, maybe. I, Because these guys are kind of trapped on this side. Although we have the meme freeze beam. So maybe we might actually end up meme freezing things. All right. Let's let's see let's see how this opens up. We have an ace in the hole. Okay. Uh, this kind of works. But we do have to get rid of that guy. But I think we'll I think we'll be able to pull it off. Yeah, we can. We didn't have to meme freeze anything. Uh, an action available. I'll just go back here. Thank goodness for meme freeze. Alright, well. Into the breach. I mean, into the volcano. One of those things. Ah, uh, this... This little fucker here. Alright, there's a lot of shit here. Alright. <laughs> Killed the fucking little beast. Alright, well, it's already looking pretty simple. Um, or not that simple. Alright, so I was thinking of putting him onto that, but then he did this. How much damage did I do? Not enough to kill him in one hit. That's, um, that's shit. Alright, I think I kind of have a good idea here. Not that good, though. Well... Okay, we still have the freeze. So we can freeze everything in this line, and that may not be a bad idea. It won't do any damage though, which is one of the problems that I have with this. But the freeze would be a, definitely a very good option here. Uh, but the question is, how do we deal with this guy? And the thing is, I I, I, I want to push him back onto that, but I would need this guy to do that. And can this guy deal with him? The answer is probably no. That's just the question is, can we deal with him? And I don't think we can. The best thing to do is actually to push him away here and then I can shoot twice. But to push him requires the, the use of this. And I can't freeze everything in this line then. But what I can do is I can push him with uh, this mech here. But it means that this guy's going to get his three damage hit off. Which might be better than n nothing, so. So let's try this out. Let's push myself back a little bit. Alright, I only have this guy. I was gonna freeze everything in this line. Although, I could just say. Nah, let's just freeze everything. 
And we're gonna block one of those. I, I really didn't see a better way of uh, having a good outcome to that one. But, you know, it happens. Alright, apparently they're literally all going on to my, my, my places. Thank you. Yeah, he's just attacking that way? Alright. Can I punch him away? No. Uh. Well, you're pretty easy to deal with. You just go into the fucking lava. Thing is, there's really not much for him to do over here. Uh, what's the order? You go second, so... I think we just punch him right there. And I think we're gonna stand on this point here. And this guy can just chillax, I guess. Even though he can stand on something, I'm gonna just have him go over here. Oh, wait. What? Oh, he went into lava! Oh, shit. I forgot the order again. The, that the tile he was on, but he just fell into lava. It's good shit. Alright. Uh, so what's he trying to do? He's trying to ram over here. So... I, I, I mean, I don't think I really care about where he, he's planning on ramming, so... We're just gonna, I think, just sit on thing, because he's just gonna go over there and die, so... The music for this game is excellent, by the way. Big fan. Alright. Oh, he broke open that guy, too. Guess we should have shot him up. Hmm. Well, it's my last turn, so this guy is automatically not a threat, but we do have to deal with this guy. Maybe. Actually, is he gonna? How much damage he's gonna do? All the damage. All right, let me reset my turn. So this is the last player turn, then why is there things trying to spawn? Uh. Alright. Action available. Yeah, well I don't want to do anything with you. That's pretty much it for that. I haven't actually lost a single one on YouTube yet. Which is surprising actually. Departing in search of another timeline as advanced as my original one. So do I get to keep the robots? Because how does that work if you start with one of the robots? Because you can't power them. I think that they do. I, I don't think that you can take them with you. That's gonna be my guess. Another successful run. The Vec hives have been destroyed. We saved 4.6 billion people. Oh, we can take one of these guys. Alright, I it's killing me to know. But I, I, I can have him. What? That makes very little sense. Alright. Let's just let's just for, for the sake of... I'm just going to bring him down. Let's just see what happens. Does he not get powered? I'm going to guess he doesn't get powered. Oh, no. He doesn't get his ability. That's what happens. Uh, now, you might think I fucked myself by doing that, but no. I could say bend a timeline and then take him back with me. See? Because it's the same result anyways. Alright, so let's have a preview of what we are going to get next. We have like 11 coins. Damn. Holy shit. Let's create a design the squad around the mass destruction capabilities of, uh, of harness lightning. Fuck yeah, Zeus. Chain d chain da damage through adjacent targets. Okay, that's pretty good. He 
grapple things towards you. That's it? That's a that's that's all you get? Does it do damage? I don't think it does damage. It's a hook mech. I guess you're supposed to hook people close to each other and then knock them away again, I guess. That's weird. Alright, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll see how that goes next time. So thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, see you guys next time on Into the Bumble.